the one we're gonna do right now is gonna be individual. You guys are gonna be everyone versus everyone, all right? You're working on your own, you do your own work. Right now, after this one, we will do an, uh, a Kahoot with uh, groups. We're gonna have groups of three, and you guys will have team captains, and I'll go ahead and, the other iPad will go ahead and put them away. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this one. So everyone join. I wanna see who, how many of you are gonna get this one. This one's a little tricky. A lot of red screens, guys. A lot of red screens. This one, you really, really have to think about it, guys. Look, you have $96, but you spent $33 on a new game. That's not a variable. You just spent one time $33. But you wanna spend $9 on the number of toys. So that's a variable, right? Because you don't know how many toys, so that would be T. So that this is why this one works. $96, you're taking away the $33 that you're taking away already on a new game, and then $9 per toy. So you add these together and take it away from 96. Uh, we're gonna you're do the one in groups. It. Who's gonna be the team captains? Raise your hand. You're a team captain? All right, that means that the, whoever's the team captain is the one that will be in charge of choosing the answer. Now, team captains, you cannot just choose you whatever answer. Your team has to agree with you. Make sure you run it by your team. Because then if you just choose whatever you want and you get it wrong, the whole team suffers. So make sure your team agrees with you, okay? So only all the other ones, lock your iPads and put them face down now. And the team captains, go ahead and, go ahead and log into Kahoot. I would prefer team captains in the middle. So switch, switch chairs if you're not in the middle. So that way you can get, they can talk to you from both sides, okay? Team captains in the middle, please. You guys name your team name, whatever you guys want. No, nothing silly, come on. Earlier, some of them were doing this in my initials. Whatever you guys want to do. The delivery fee? It's a flat rate. They don't care how many pizzas you order. It's only one time charge of $3. They're not gonna charge you $3 per pizza to deliver. You're gonna have to do the math. Keep in mind they're charging you $3 delivery on top of the pizzas. How much is each pizza cost? How many did you choose? How much is that? But how much is that add to? Huh? But how much does it add up to when you multiply? Seven pizzas times five dollars each? Thirty-five, right? You have thirty-five dollars. You're not you're not gonna have enough because you have three dollars to pay for delivery. Alright. Guys, let's talk about this. Let's look at this. It's telling you here. Right here. Five dollars per pizza, right? That's how much each pizza costs. You have to Keep in mind that there's a $3 fee. Doesn't matter how many pizzas you order. You can order 100, there's only $3 fee. So right off the bat, we're gonna start off with $35 minus $3 for the fee, right? So we have $32 to spend on pizza. Which of those gonna give me it? Seven automatically is out the door because seven times five, that's 35, okay? Five, that's too little. Seven times five is 30, I, I'm sorry. Six, five times five, that's 25. So I still have enough for at least another pizza. So six times five, that's 30. Cause six and a half, even if you could order half a pizza, which you can't, half a pizza would cost $2 and 50 cents. So that means that would be $32 and 50 cents. So you would be short 50 cents. So that's why the only possible answer should have been letter, or the diamond, which is number uh, six. Does everyone understand their mistakes? Yes. Be careful.